Ladies and gentlemen, an ordinary flat painting. And now, hey presto, the illusion of deep space. You want to know how I did it? Okay, I'll tell you. Actually, the magic happened even before I threw the ball. It happens in all these pictures too. some of the tricks these artists used. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing that amazing duo, Figure and Ground. Surprise. You see, we used to sing things in front of background or figures in front of grounds. Why? Well, if we didn't, we bump into things all the time. I told you there was some magic involved. I would like to introduce to you now a truly great spatial effect and a very close personal friend, overlapping. Here is a picture of two of our satisfied customers. And now, Miss Cleopatra, wearing a stunning artistic device from the House of Tonal Modeling. is fair, you must learn to paint the air. This program has been brought to you by Linear Perspective, makers of space.
Hey, is uh, is that a pub? Yeah, it looks like a pub over here. Uh, what's, it, what's it look like up there, Barry? It looks like a pub up here. What can you see down there, Trevor? Uh, a pub. Pity it's only a painting. perspective and stuff. Who was that ruffian? My goodness! He has eliminated all the tonal modelling from that painting. I can't tell the wood from the trees. <laughs> oh, my heavens! Flat! Flat! Oh dear, oh dear. Absolute cad. Call a policeman. He must be stopped. Is that hooligan gone? Good. Down to business. Now here is a table. On the table are five simple objects. Now, most Western artists draw the table and the objects like a camera, using linear perspective and overlapping. But not all cultures would agree that this is the best way to show space. The traditional Chinese way is to show distance by vertical position. The further away something is, the higher it is in the painting. traditional Japanese way is to show distance by diagonal position. The further away something is, the closer it is to the top right hand corner. The traditional Aboriginal way is to show the world in a plan view, like a map and to show each thing from a view that makes it easiest to recognise. Is any one way correct?
Thank you.